Okay, so little wing intro is what we're doing here. So the first thing we're going to do, we have this E minor chord. This is going to be the ring finger on the bottom three twelves. And then the middle finger on the big E string, 12th fret. We're going to mute the A string and the D string. So we got a pick scratch going down. Everything is muted. And then we come up with the chord and slide it down. To the big E open. Two pick scratches. So we have a five to seven on the E string to the five on the D string and then five to seven on the A string. So we got. So here we have a double note thing. We have both of the middle strings, the D string and the G string fifth fret hammering into the seventh fret of the D string. Keep that finger so tall. This is a big thing with Hendrix. Keep that finger so tall that you hear the string underneath it. You didn't accidentally like mute that when you did that hammer on. You want to keep it so tall. He can make so many extra big sounding chords with that effect. So definitely know that when you're trying to do some Jimmy stuff. So one more time at the top. So that riff. We're gonna go to that thumb on the third fret of the big E string. So that was the big one, and then the G string open. Now we're gonna mute these third fret of this bottom two strings with the first finger. That way we can do a pull off there, five to three to three. We got it all the whole chord and shape that we need. Then one more quick G string. And this is that same type of effect where you keep those fingers so tall you can hear the string below it. So that's going from the four to the five on the G string. Hitting that again, the five and three. And then a hammer on pull off type, th type of thing. Then we're gonna go to this A minor again. So a lot going on there. We got big string A. And we got five, seven on the A string to the five and back to the seven. Now here we're on the second and third strings. I'm going to do that same thing I was talking about. They're going to do it on those two middle strings. So. so that last part was on the A string to that fifth fret of the D string and then five and seven on the big E string sliding down. Big E and then. So we're gonna have a 10 to eight on the second string, pull off to the seven on the G string, third string. And then we're going to get into this we're kind of in an E minor 7 shape. So he's got the 7 and 10 on the A string. And then he's hitting the middle two 7s. And doing one of those hammer things with the ninth fret on the D string. Now here's like a B minor 9 type of thing. So I'm hitting this big 7. And then I got this 9 and 7 parked in the middle of that from like a B minor chord. So it's either like both of those middle strings or just that nine right there, the octave of that. So here we have B minor. And then we end up hitting the little seven and nine down here. So we got a little pull on this nine to the 10 and out and then to the 10 of the second string. So it could be like 9 to 10 and back to that 9 and then the 10 on the second string. Now here we switch to a B flat 6th fret to the 7 and 6 from a B flat type major chord. So we got. So two basses and then that little chord piece. A. So after we hit that A bass here, we're going to have 7 and 5 on those middle strings, D and G. 
Here we have to stretch this pinky up to the ninth fret and try to keep that so tall that we hear all those chords. We want to hear that five on the G string through all these chords. And then we come into this one, we got this eight, eight to seven, still want to hear that five on the D string. So. There we have. So that was the two middle strings, five, seven, and five. And big string, five to seven again. Hit that thumb again on that three bass. The reason for that thumb there is because we got this high chord that's gonna be five on the D string, then open, then three, then five. And that whole thing slides up too. Even that thumb can slide up. That's a real cool Jimi Hendrix ism there. So you got the big one down here, and then you got muted A, then you got three O oh, one three. So let's check out the whole thing one more time. on the 12th fret of the four bottom strings. So. Okay, and sometimes they'll give the, give the whammy bar downwards to do an effect on that. All right, Little Wing, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll check you soon.